Hello, my dear students. Uh, welcome to our first uh, class for your physics lab sessions. Welcome to our physics lab, and today we'll be doing two experiments based on optics. Experiment one. This will be de uh, determining the focal length of a given convex lens using no parallax method. Okay. And for this experiment, you are provided with uh, this experiment. You are provided with a lens holder. These are the lens. This is the lens holder. Okay. A convex lens. You can see we have a convex lens. The focal length of which we are going to determine using this experiment. We have two optical pins. This one and this one. One will be used as the object, and the other one will be used as the image pin. Okay. And of course, we have an optical bench which is 150 centimeter long. Uh, to, uh, before we start, you have to uh, do some initial arrangements for this experiment. You just have three things here on the optical bench: the two pins and the lens. The first thing you should be doing is that the optical pin and the optical center of this lens should be along the same line. Here, you can use a scale to adjust. Okay. So before we start the experiment, you just have to adjust the height of the pin so that the tip of the pin will just be coinciding with the optical center of the lens. Now the height has been adjusted. Okay, this is the prior arrangement before you start the experiment. Now let's begin with the experiment. In uh, the first step is to put the object in its Position. Okay, that means the position of the object has to be set in the beginning. The object pin, you can see, it, it has been set at the zero centimeter mark. So this becomes the fixed position for the object for the entire experiment. Now we will adjust the position of the lens such in such a way that we can find a distance between the lens and the object, which is. U that is our object distance, and we have set the lens at the 60 centimeter mark, so that the distance between the lens and the object, that is the object distance for the first observation, becomes equal to 60 centimeter. Now, to find the image distance, we are going to adjust the position of this image pin. Okay, and for different positions, we will see whether there is any parallax between the object and the image or not. For that. You will have to move your eyes from left to right or right to left, and if you see that the velocity of the object and the velocity of the image is not the same, you can see it here. They are not moving together while uh, while moving. It is moving faster, right? That means parallax has not yet been removed. Now we will find a position where the parallax will be removed completely. For that, you need to shift the pin slightly towards the lens. Now we have found a position for the image pin where the parallax has been totally removed. Here you can see that when you move your eyes to and fro, you can see that the object and the image are moving with the same velocity. So here the parallax has been removed, and we will now find out the location of the image where the parallax has been removed. That would be our image distance. Here you can see that our lens was at 60 centimeter mark of the optical bench, and the image pin is at this mark. That means it is at 71.9 centimeter mark. So the difference between the image's location and the lens's location is 71.9 minus 60. That happens to be 11.9 centimeter. So for Object distance equal to 60 centimeter. Image distance will be equal to 11.9 centimeter. That is how you find the image distance using an optical bench. Okay. Now we are going to take the second reading where our object distance will be 50 centimeter. So for that we will just shift the lens to the 50 centimeter mark on the optical bench. Okay. And we will come to this side of the optical bench and adjust the pin so that the parallax will be removed completely. Likewise, we are going to take five readings in total for object distances. After taking the five readings for different positions of the object at 60 centimeter, 50 centimeter, 40, 30, and 20, these are the 
image distances that we found using no parallax method. This is the observation table which is uh, given to you, the instructions to which is given to you in the instructions. And this is the complete table that we have done after doing the experiments for you. You just take 5 readings for U60, B is 11.9 cm and you are supposed to calculate P that is the product of U and B that is 60 into 11.9 and Q is U plus V that is 60 plus 11.9 and finally to find the focal length you are supposed to find, uh, find the ratio between P and Q. P is 714 by Q is 9.93. Likewise we can take the readings for all the five observations. Okay, of course the unit for focal length in here will be in centimeter. After you find the five values of the focal length, you are supposed to find the average of these five values which will be giving you the final value of the focal length. Now to find the average focal length, it's very simple. You are just going to add up all the five values that you have obtained at the right side of the table and just divide it by the number of observations that is equal to 5. You get 50.75 cm divided by 5 and your focal length for the given convex lens is 10.1 centimeter. That is how you proceed with the first experiment for your course. Thank you.